Hey guys, it's Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the Hive on a Tuesday. It is a little bit after five o'clock and I'm sneaking this in quick before I have a dinner date with Tyler and my parents. Uh, we're finally making it back to 1111 Burgers and Beignets. Woohoo! So, I have a quick tip Tuesday for you guys, complimentary of Carissa. This was definitely her idea. Uh, she taught me, or she didn't tell me about this. Well, she didn't teach me about it, but she told me I should do this. Hey guys, oh, perfect. I found it right away. Hi, Mary. Um, it's all about gilded leafing. Uh, and after I have a moment, hi, Joan Gordon. Um, I did a class back in March or February of last year, so 2021. And it was featuring the art floral or art gallery stamps at Highlanda Hall. And, oh, I didn't turn my ringer off. <laughs> so I did a class and it used the gilded leafing three different ways. And so, hi, Brenda Loveless. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Kathy King. Tomorrow, when I have an opportunity to get back on my computer, what I'll do is I will take the Facebook link for that class and I will add it into the link for this class or this Tip Tuesday so that if anybody wants to see that class, you can easily find it because I'm not going to show you how to use Gilded Leafing. I'm going to share with you Chris's idea for telling you about using a dryer sheet with the Gilded Leafing. So um, hi, Philly. Hi, Elaine Rebeck. Hi, Shauna Burns. Hi, Sherry Martin. So how many of you guys have the Gilded Leafing? If you do, throw me the thumbs up or throw me a heart out there. I'm curious. Uh, um, have you used it before? That would be another question. <laughs> um, it can be kind of intimidating. It's a very cool thing to have and um, actually use. But if you don't know how to properly use it, you might be afraid to use it. So um, that's why I'll share that link for that video so you can see how to use it. Hi, Dharma McCarthy. So what Chris has said is I should share with you, and you guys might know this already and other demonstrators probably have shared this, but I've never done this as an official tip Tuesday. So that's why we thought it would be great to share this. So, all right. So I'm in the current annual catalog which is going to be retiring on what, huh, what, Monday? Um, oh, that was my hair all up in there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah, it was. Okay, but the reason I wanted to share this is because it is actually carrying over. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Deirdre. Um, hi, Marie. Um, it is carrying over to the new annual catalog. So I thought this would be a great time in case somebody is deciding to buy it. Hi, Kathy Ballard. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. Page 143 is where you can find it. Hi, Karen Wetstein. Um, it's hiding here in the bottom corner, or well, it's in the middle, but the bottom of the picture talks about gilded leafing. And I call it gold leafing a lot. Um, it comes in a jar that looks like this. It is super really light. Um, it, and it has on here, um, you don't want to put it down the drain. It has bad for the fish, okay? So I have gotten one of these where it was smashed in the box. Um, so hi, Latokia. It does come in a plastic bag. So if it does get smashed, hopefully it's all contained because this is a hot gold mess to clean up. So I wish it came in silver too. I'm more of a silver person than a gold person. So um, as you can see, I wear more silver jewelry when I do wear it, you guys. <laughs> so, but... Um, you, I would not recommend leaving it in this little jar. And so in my video, um, I probably had it in this container. I dedicated a, a Rubbermaid or a Tupperware or whatever, it doesn't matter the brand, just I, a, a rubber container. Um, and you can see that it's very staticky in there. If you can see right there, there's a piece that's kind of just hanging to the ceiling of my container. Um, it just very staticky. And so what Chris has said, I should remind all you guys to do, <laughs> you guys, I even have on here, do not open. So when I had this sitting on the counter, I was like, people better not open it up because it goes all over the place. I tell you, it certainly does. So when you have this here, what, um, what Chris has said, and so did you see that it kind of like woofed up? All right. And it just, it just wants to stick everywhere. So once you get it on your fingers, you guys, it's kind of like going to stay on your fingers until you, you take a baby wipe. It says not to put it down the sink. Um, not good for the environment, I guess. <laughs> so, um, But very staticky. So what Carissa did in her container is she took a dryer sheet. And she actually has a dryer sheet on the top. I just blew at it and it kind of like wiggled. So she had a dryer sheet and she has it at the top here. 
And what I might recommend doing is just maybe putting some double-sided tape in here. And so with this dryer sheet, and I'm gonna put it right onto here, um, the dryer sheet should hopefully stick to the tear and tape. And um, she actually, before she put hers in her container, she puts a dryer sheet on the bottom. I am not going to try to attempt to take all of that out to wiggle a dryer sheet in there. I don't think I would be very successful. And so I am going to put this in here and after a while, what should hopefully happen, well, see that I got gilded leafing on my tear and tape and now you gotta get it off. Otherwise you're gonna have hmm, gold tear and tape. Um, after a while, what will help do is get rid of some of that static electricity that's going on in there. So, and you know what? I should have probably cut this ever so slightly off. So otherwise I have lots of little flappies. So how many of you guys do this? How many of you put the dryer sheet in your container that holds your gelded leafing? Hi, Deb Norman back from, vac well, I guess it was kind of like vacation for you. <laughs> back from Canada, woohoo. All right, so I am gonna cut this off right here. It definitely, you guys, I have Snuggle. That's the brand of um, <laughs> a brand of dryer sheet I just happen to have. So I'm like, it smells like Snuggle in here. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be able to put this right back on here and should stay at the top. Hi, Chris Dudorenki. And so over time, that should help with the static electricity. So that was my quick and easy, low and down and dirty tip Tuesday for you guys. Oh, before I flip the camera off, I'm gonna share with you, in case you guys missed it last night, Kelly did the April paper pumpkin and this is what the sheet looked like. So these were the different cards. It was called Change is Beautiful, all about the butterflies. Um, she learned a little bit beforehand from Diane Bogenhagen. She's, <laughs> Diane had stopped over and talked to her about the chrysalis and the cocoon. Hi, D, D Serena. Um, so these were, so she made, so if you missed the class, you guys, you can go back and catch the replay. And so I think that these were the original cards that she made and or the ones that came from the paper pumpkin. They did a little bit of a fun fold here. And then here's the one with the butterfly. And then these were the two alternatives that she made. And it's looking like what she did. Oh man, there's the inside. Hi, Wendy Kruger. It's looking like what she did is she took this card and she cut it apart. I was in here working while she was actually doing the class. I wasn't really watching her. I was listening to her. But what she did is she took this to put at the top there and she cut this one to put over here. So super cool. So she got two cards out of one base. And so this was, these were her two alternatives. So if you guys missed it, you can go back and catch the replay. I did share the links uh, for the uh, paper pumpkin class in the VIP group. And I also shared them in the um, Stampin' Game Night group. So um, yeah, her alternatives were really great. I thought so too, Luis. So um, I do, 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 do. So if, do, do, do. So I have, what do I have here? Well, I'm gonna share one more card with you. I, um, I'm, I was going to do this as a tip too. So you guys get like a little day, double tip Tuesday. So that I'll have to think of something for next week. But this one's kind of time sensitive. Bleh, time sensitive. So Carissa made a card and it features um, the symbols of fortune. And um, she used the paper lattice. And you guys, I honestly don't know at the moment. The paper lattice is not carrying over. So I meant to do this as a tip Tuesday beforehand. Uh, but I thought, well... Let's share this because the next time I, well, yeah, because the next time I do a Tip Tuesday, you guys, the new catalog will be live and the paper lattice will not be available. So I want to show off Chris's beautiful card and share with you what she did with the paper lattice. And a tip would be to weave your ribbon through the paper lattice. So you guys, this paper lattice is part of the plentiful plants. I'll bring it right back up, but I want to tell you where the plentiful plants are. Bloom where you're planted. So this was... It was a pack of paper lattice, six bucks. I think you got, I don't remember how many you got, but they're on this page 80 of the annual catalog. And so my tip to you was, look how creative she was um, weaving that ribbon through her paper lattice. She basically went down and up and down. So she went up the little um, more narrow ones and then down underneath the bigger ones. And then she did it up this way. And I thought it was such a cool technique 
tip to use with the paper lattice. Hi, Carla Lake. And so here you guys get a double tip Tuesday because I, I don't think I can really share this card with you after this week because, well, technically, because the paper lattice will be retired. So um, if you want to go check to see if the paper lattice is out there, the item number really easily is 155697. You could do that. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Doris. And you could um, also put in paper lattice into the um, online store. So um, she added a whole bunch of the gold pearls throughout the, the card. She stamped um, the flower from Symbols of Fortune and has a little hello there. So I know a bunch of you are loving on the Symbols of Fortune, which is also my, um, my ink, paper, scissors that's coming up next month. And so I'll be sharing those cards again with you guys on Thursday night when we do Beauty of the Earth ink, paper, scissors. So yes. So I wanted to share Carissa's card with you. Um, so you guys kind of got another little bit of tip of what to do with that paper lattice. So um, I do have, in case anybody's wondering, a few weeks ago, I did do a couple cards from, what were they, from the card buffet that I made in the VIP group. And so just if anybody hasn't watched those or commented on those, I am going to be giving those cards away in the VIP group, or I'll, I'll probably give them, announce them on Thursday night, but I go off of who's commented. So if you haven't gotten to the VIP group and looked at those, that, it's not the MS cards, it's the from the week before Easter, it was the card buffet. So in case anybody wants to um, check those cards out in the VIP group, you should and comment, make sure. Um, hi, Amy. And then also in the VIP group, I had three people so far that had interest in the flowering tulip set, just to give you a heads up, um, because Karen Cotton had declined getting it at half off. So I have Melody Miller, Deb Norman, and Kay Warren. And so if there was anybody else from the VIP group who had originally um, shared that post from April, please don't forget to reach out to me so that I can include you in the drawing. And I'll probably do that drawing live on Thursday night after we're done with class. So um, hi, Diane Alberts and Carmen McNamara and Gwen Petroshek. <laughs> All right, so I think, oh, I have one more thing I wanna share with you guys. Um, I got a new little buddy for the hive. It's actually a girl, I think, not right. Um, Janet DeShane gave me this awesome keeper bee of the gnome. So I've gotta find a great spot to put this little, I think it's a girl gnome. I'm not quite sure, but it, I don't know if nor, oh, you know, I don't know. So I think Janet said that it, she was a she. So, <laughs> so we're gonna have a girl gnome. I do have a boy gnome from Sandy Wicklander. I think Sandy, you were the one that sent me that other gnome. So I'm gonna put this little girl right next to the one that you gave me, Sandy. I think you sent me one a year ago, Sandy, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got two gnomes in the hive now, you guys. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> awesome. Um, the VIP group. So Linda Hall just asked a question about the VIP group. So if you are on my team, the Be Happy Stampers, so you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator on my team specifically, or if you're a customer of mine who has purchased product, um, and, and, and I'm a little lenient with the, the term purchasing product, it's not a class per se, but if you do get a product-based class from me, then that in my eyes is buying product from me because my class includes product. Um, if it's a class that is just card kits with no product, then I don't look at it like that. So um, so it's not just buying card kits for me, it's actually getting classes for me that contain um, full products like my Memories and More class, uh, Bay, um, Game Night would include full product, and also there's one more, oh, Ink, Paper, Scissors. So I try my best to invite people to that, but if you're, you meet one of those qualifications, just send me a quick note. We do have to be friends on Facebook, you guys. So if, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, send me a friend request. Cause sometimes I go to send you guys friend requests. Like if you're new to me and I, um, I send you, I try to send you a friend request. Sometimes people have their privacy settings up that you can't ask somebody to be a friend on Facebook. So I rely on you guys to send me a friend request and so I can accept it. And then I can add you to my VIP or invite you to my VIP group. Uh, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I have a Samsung phone. I do not have an iPhone that I use for personal use. I do have an iPhone, which is up here, which is only used and looked at when I log in to do a Facebook Live. And I get iMessages from people. And so if you've ever text messaged me, hi, Diane Kennedy, um, if you've ever text messaged me, but you didn't get a response for a very, very, very long time, it's because you I messaged me. And when you I message me, whoever, you know, some of you do, um, if you I message me, I don't see it in my personal cell phone that I use 
like 24 seven. I will randomly see it in here if I actually look at the text messages in there, but I, when I'm going live, I don't focus on text messages in that phone. And I feel like I don't need another place to look for messages, you guys. So if you found that you iMessage me, please change your settings to not iMessage me because otherwise I won't know that you're trying to message me. So to avoid that, Facebook messaging messaging is good or email is good too. Um, so yes, Brenda Loveless, it is date night tonight. I am all dressed up. I got the jewels on. You guys see me. I don't generally wear jewelry a lot when I'm doing my lives because it just gets in the way, I think. Uh, so yes, it's date night. And we're going to have burgers. Um, we're going with my parents out to 1111 Burgers and Beignets. And we're going to have a good, tasty adult beverage. Woohoo! Hi, Betty Pile. So, yes, um, that's what I got for you guys. Um, so what I'm working on this week actually is we're preparing for MS Benefit. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be prepping all day for the MS Benefit. We have 44 people. Well, I should say we have 42 signed up and we have two spots available. Uh, so I'm looking for anybody else who's interested in making a donation and getting five cards and then, or you could come in person and make them yourself. Uh, and then also this week I'm prepping for Let's Just Stamp and the May monthly class. Uh, and also for the catalog launch party, which is actually in person for the first time on Sunday. So lots going on in the hive here this week. Um, if you need anything, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Just know that I don't always like respond instantaneously like I normally do when I'm working or designing. So um, but I try to get back to people within a couple days at the most. So, oh, thanks, Deb Norman. I will enjoy it. I will tell Tyler you say hi. Hi, Julie Bierschbach, catching the tail end of Tip Tuesday. So, all right. I think that's it. My parents will be here in five minutes. <laughs> so, all right, lots of sunshine, love, and hugs to you guys. We will see you on Thursday night. Um, make sure to stay tuned for Thursday. Kelly will be doing a technique Thursday for you. So, all right, bye, guys. Love you.